Hi everyone, Shashank this side. I hope you all are doing well today and safe at home. As you can see on my screen, we will be going to continue with Systems Manager Run Command Part 2 of the video. The agenda for recording this video just to cover a few more important topics. I just want you guys to be more familiar with Run Command because Run Command is the main topic to do your daily automation task, right? So today, we will be going to check how to use run command on Linux based operating systems, then how you can schedule your run command. And when you choose to run specific module from run command like patch baseline or running a PowerShell script or shell script, Docker, Ansible playbook, what is the mechanism in background that run command uses to execute all these stuff? Those are called documents in terms of AWS Systems Manager. We can create our own documents as well. I will show you that while doing our practical demo. So this will be a quick demo from my side. For that, let's jump to our AWS Management Console right away. So I am into AWS Management Console into Systems Manager. So to use run command, again, we have to go inside instance and nodes. We have something called run command. Click on that. Click on run command. So if you're not aware of what systems manager is all about, what run command is all about, please do watch my videos on run command and systems manager. I have already recorded that and it's on my channel inside AWS SSM playlist. I will be going to share that playlist with this particular video description. Okay. So as I told you with my previous videos, we have certain number of uh, module for execution, like running your Ansible playbook or running your chef recipes, PowerShell script, you can do automation of your patching, everything from the module that AWS has given, or you can create your own document. So these are the command documents that we used to call. So from now onwards, instead of module, I will be using a term called document when I work on systems manager. Okay, so I guess we have like four or five pages of documents where uh, we can see like how to use AWS EC to create VSS snapshot, run sysprep and all those things, right? So I don't have a domain available, so I won't be able to perform a domain related task like domain joining tasks with this run document. Today, I just want to show you a simple demo with how to update your SSM agent. And again, you can write your shell script, you can write your PowerShell script, run patch paste line, everything. You can install your Amazon inspector to do the vulnerability assessment. You can do everything from this. Make sure the platform type you are using should be correct either linux or windows so we have uh, certain commands to run only on linux we have certain commands to run only on windows so please make sure while running any of the document from run command okay so let's click on aws update ssm agent this is available for both windows and linux D document version is the default one you can use latest version as well Version is optional. So this is for like a specific version of SSM agent you want to install. If you don't specify, this will be going to use the latest version. Allow downgrade, you can downgrade your SSM agent as well. So that is for true and false. Again, what on what target you want to run this particular command, right? So either you can use tagging you can choose your instance manually, but this is not feasible method because let's say if you want to run 100 of instances with certain number of update SSM agent, then obviously choosing instance manually is not a feasible option. For that, either you create a tags or you create a resource group, okay? So resource group is again, you're, you will be creating a container. Within that container, you will be assigning all your instances like compliance one of the resource group inside compliance you have 100 of instances you just have to select resource group and you will be able to execute your command or your document 
from systems manager to hundred of instances. I don't have any resource group or I don't have any tag like a patch group or so. For this, let's choose manually. I have only one instance which is running Linux. Select, you can comment it out like update of SSM agent. Timeout is 600 second. Rate control, now concurrency. So let's say if you are doing 100 of instances. So this is something, let's say, how, how you want to proceed with the numbers. Like in terms of percentage, you can specify the percentage of the target. So let's say we have 100. So 50% of the target needs to be executed at same time. After that, next 50. After that, next 50. You can divide based upon that. You can use uh, percentage as well. So I have only one target. So let's say one. Error threshold, you can, uh, let's say uh, this is something. If your document is failed while running the command, right? So three errors. Let's say we, we, we specified three error. So after three error, this command will not going to get executed on the next instance. So this is kind of a monitoring, like a, a what do you say, try and catch exceptions thing. So I have, I'm, I'm keeping it zero. You can send out the output to S3 bucket. I'm not going to do that. You can do SNS notification. Now, this is something very useful while doing a patching. So AWS Systems Manager helps you to automate your patching of your systems. I have already done the demo for that. So where you can send out a notification that yes, your patching has been completed on 100 of instances, send out an email uh, with the help of SNS topic. So for that, you have to create an SNS topic. And this is the command line that we will be getting. You can use AWS CLI to run the command directly if you are not looking for uh, using console. So let's click on run. It's already success. It's quite fast. Check the output. Output one. Okay. Updating this from uh, 2.3.1205 to latest successfully downloaded. So this is downloading the latest Amazon systems manager, I mean SSM agent. Amazon agent has already been installed, update has been skipped. Now this is again a, a good feature with uh, systems manager run command. If your system is already updated with a newer version of uh, any software, then this will be going to skip that particular uh, installation. So that's one of the good feature I think we have with systems manager. Now the second part of this video, how to schedule your uh, run command. For that, I would prefer to use maintenance window. So for example, I have asked for a query from one of my YouTube friends on my channel that how we can schedule run command or script in run command, right? So for that, uh, go to the maintenance window. I already have a maintenance window created. For this video, I'll create a new one. Let's say we have to give this name as test. You can uh, check the unregistered target as well or register target as well. Cron expression, so like every one hour, every two hour, based upon your uh, requirement, you can select or you can create your own cron expression. So for example, every 30 minutes, select the time that you want to go with. And once you create a maintenance window, so let's create a maintenance window, okay. One hour of maintenance, sorry, two hour of maintenance window and one hour of uh, closing the maintenance window before uh, it completes. Create a maintenance window, select the maintenance window and go to the actions tab. Register a target, give the target name like totally as per your requirement, select the instance from resource group. I, I would prefer to use resource group rather than specify an instance tag. You can use instance tag as well, but never try to use instance manually if you have number of instances in your environment. Select this, register a target. Target has been registered. What kind of task you want to perform on this? So task is something you are trying to execute your run document on this instance. Register a target, register run command. Again, give uh, 
name as per your requirement and select the target like running your Ansible playbook, configuring AWS package, configure CloudWatch. That totally depends upon your requirement. So for example, I have a Linux instance. So let's say configure Docker. Select the target, target is already selected. So we don't have to worry about that. Again, at same time, on how many number of instances you want to run this particular document. So let's say two, I have only one, so that's fine. Number of errors, one. Use the service link role uh, for systems manager or use a custom role. So this will be going to create a new one or you can create it by your own. Send out output to S3, CloudWatch, enable SNS topic, action is install or uninstall, it's totally depend upon you and register a run command task. So I will show you on the previous maintenance window that I have created. There is a task called run patch baseline. It's already registered with it. Still, if you want to edit this task, you don't want to run a patch baseline from uh, given by Amazon. You can create your own and select from the list. That is something is feasible from systems manager. So that's how you can schedule your uh, run command while doing any kind of maintenance. So let's delete this because I don't want to have multiple just to avoid confusion. Why I have created all these things, okay? Now, we have something called documents, the third part of this video, where uh, we will going to see what mechanism in background this run command is running on. So click on the documents and you can see we have certain number of documents owned by me. I have two documents already CloudWatch agent update shared with me. No, nothing has been shared all documents and owned by Amazon. So just now we have executed update of our uh, SSM agent. So either you can search for that you have to remember exact name of the document otherwise you won't be able to search that but particular uh, run command or run document platform type i know i have a linux so this will be filtering out based upon the linux plus windows as well because uh, the ssm agent works upon windows and linux both now i don't remember exactly what was the name given uh, to that particular cloudwatch sorry uh, ssm agent so let's search i guess should be somewhere around the third or fourth page and you can see we have a lot of document like delete snapshot detach ebs volume so you can do a lot of automation with the help of run command systems manager gather uh, software inventory find windows updates install miss missing ones okay i don't think where is that Let's search one more page. And sorry guys, I don't remember. That's why I have to search like this. I'm very bad at remembering those particular names. Update SSM agent. So let's say select this. Not the platform type document equals update. Here we go. Click on uh, the document. There is something called content. And again, this is some, you cannot edit these documents which are owned by Amazon. This is the logic or this is the script or the JSON document it's running in background. So let's try to read. Description is update Amazon SSM agent to the latest or the specified version. Then we have allow downgrade as i showed it to you true or false if you want to downgrade your ssm agent you can select true otherwise false by default we have false and it's downloading from s3 bucket from amazon the latest version of your uh, systems manager same way every document has been written in this way only so if you select any of the other document like and run ansible playbook go to the content and this is some this is something giving you hell lot of information like 
allow pattern is there, extra variables, check. Let's go down a bit. Run command. So this is a user data script that's running in background. This is a shell script for Linux AMI. It's using Amazon Linux, Red Hat, Enterprise Linux as well. You can see like sudo pip install ansible. This will be going to run your playbook or whatever we have written uh, in background. So this is how run command works in background. You can create your own automation document as well. So for that, you have to click on create automation, give the name like run playbook. Go to the editor and just paste your code over here. Just paste your code. So this works in uh, JSON format. So you have to create everything in JSON format. Create automation and this will be going to get listed over here. You can use that. That is a custom run document for you guys. So I hope this clears a lot what run command is all about, how to use run command with Windows and Linux instances, how run command works in background as a mechanism, what are, how to check that, how to create your uh, own document and get listed in the run document on systems manager, how you can schedule your run command to run every like one day or two day or based upon your requirement. So I would request you guys to try this particular module. This is very useful module that I have seen from Amazon's uh, point of view. And because this help us to automate most of the daily stuff, right? You can do your automation of the installation of your application as well. So accordingly, you have to write your code in JSON format. So that's it guys for this particular video. Try it out on your account. Try to show to your higher management and convince them we should go for systems manager if you're heavily dependent upon Amazon. And again, you can uh, automate your on-premise data center servers as well with the help of uh, systems manager. So systems manager gives you a provision where you can patch your on-premise servers as well. Okay. Place out a comment in comment section if you're facing any issue and I'll be there to help you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.